so now in this video we will going to discuss about liposomal mediated gene delivery now it will be our topic of interest so it is another kind of gene delivery method so we are using liposomal mediated gene delivery for in vivo gene therapy right we have discussed it in our in vivo gene therapy video lecture so for liposomal mediated gene delivery the first thing that i want to mention is your first goal will be the construction of a cationic liposome and that can be easily constructed okay now there will be a formation of complex which will contain the liposome and it will package the dna molecule okay and leads to the formation of the lipoplex okay so th this interaction between the liposome and the dna is a electrostatic interaction okay which will facilitate the formation of cationic lipoplex and now whenever we will using that lipoplex for the gene delivery the host cell will easily received it okay via receptor mediated endocytosis but there is a problem that as the composition of the membrane is near about similar for each and every cell of an organism and again the composition of the lipoplex is also same right that means here we are not having something that would ensure the specificity right that is why nowadays this liposomal technique is performed by using a monoclonal antibody okay this monoclonal antibody will interact with specific surface receptor present in the specific cell where we are willing to introduce our lipoplex containing gene of interest okay clear so upon recognizing the monoclonal antibody the lipoplex will be received by the particular cell and as a result specificity is ensured via receptor mediated endocytosis okay now as receptor mediated endocytosis that means now the lipoplex will be surrounded by endosome right now there can be a chance of problem that is if lipoplex and more specifically the gene of interest capable of escaping before the lysosomal pathway activated that means if the lipoplex along with the gene of interest capable of escaping from the endosome before the lysosomal pathway starts only when the gene of interest can survive otherwise not okay so that's all about the liposomal mediated gene delivery okay so now here i want to mention several thing that is as i have told you that there can be a chance of lysosomal degradation right so the particular cell where we are willing to transfer the lipoplex containing the gene of interest it is often suggested to treat those kind of particular cell with cytokalasin cytokalasin b colchicin and chloroquine okay so those kind of compound will prevent the lysosomal pathway if we will treat cytokalasin b colchicin and our chloroquine with uh, to a particular cell where we are willing to transfer the lipoplex okay that's how the lysosomal degradation can be prevented okay and in some cases along with the cationic liposome we are also using a neutral liposome okay so this neutral liposome will acting as a helper for cationic liposome and also as a carrier of dna okay that's how it helps the transfer of the cationic lipoplex okay and it can be useful because of their stability and in the blood serum and less toxicity okay so we are using two kind of thing that is one is dope and dopc 
although the full form of those neutral lipid is not necessary for us in the UG level. So I will not going to discuss about this here. So it is an efficient and economic method for transferring any kind of gene of interest inside the cell. Okay. And it can transfer nucleic acid into cell present in a cultural uh, culture in a petri dish with less toxicity okay so that are the various kind of important advantages but it has some disadvantages too so liposomal mediated pathway may not be useful for transferring or may not be useful for transfer transfecting all cell types okay some cell types okay and it is also need to know that some cell line which ha which are rich in lipid we cannot use liposomal mediated pathway for transporting the gene of interest inside them okay so that is the liposomal mediated pathway so that is the concept of the lipoplex mediated gene delivery so idea is we are forming a complex called lipoplex which contain dna surrounded by liposome right and here the interaction between dna and liposome is the electrostatic interaction okay so this cationic lipoplex will be easily transferred to the specific cell by using a monoclonal antibody that will be taken up by that particular cell with the help of receptor mediated endocytosis right and as a res result as it is inserted inside the cell via receptor mediated endocytosis that means the cell will be engulfed by endosome right now there are two possibilities okay if the lipoplex along with the dna capable of escaping from the endosome before the lysosomal pathway activates the gene of interest can survive otherwise not okay so we are using various kind of neutral lipids here also neutral liposomes that will ensure the efficient that will increase the efficiency of the transfer okay that is important and the most specifically important thing that we uh, we have to discuss that for preventing the lysosomal pathway we are also using various kind of chemical for example cyto uh, for example we are using colchicine cytochalasin b and chloroquine etc so if we are treating cytochalasin using cytochalasin b colchicine and chloroquine to a particular cell it will not have the ability to perform the lysosomal pathway and as a result the survival chance of gene of interest will be increased okay so that is that is the topic of liposomal mediated gene delivery and what are the advantage the first thing is it is economic and efficient okay easy steps involved and the important thing culture of the nucleic uh, transfer of the nucleic acid in a cell or in a culture in a cell present in a culture with less toxicity is possible with the help of liposomal mediated gene delivery but there are various kind of disadvantages also so disadvantages are so we cannot use liposomal mediated gene delivery to transfect all type of cell type right there are some cell line which may not be transfected with the help of liposomal mediated gene delivery okay and some cell line who have lipid rich cell membrane cannot be transfected with the help of liposomal mediated gene delivery